Also going to introduce class presidency. Um, you need a class president. Um, I, I would consider either a format where I have a class president, a doctoral mastery president, um, a devotional president, and a, and a secretary. Um, the secretary, they're in charge of identifying when birthdays are, making sure we celebrate the birthdays, uh, send a card to the kid on their birthday and all the students sign it maybe, uh, remind you to call John, it's his birthday, something like that. The secretary keeps track of that and helps with the class role. Um, the students will mark their role in a, in a way where they're marking their reading in, in that, but then you also got to enter your role. And a lot of teachers just have a login there. The secretary marks the, the, the role in WISE already so that you don't have to worry about it. How are you going to use them? And the doctoral mastery president is going to make sure that we, we break up the doctoral masteries, make sure we review them all, uh, cycle all the 24 through over and over. Um, they might uh, be the one who, and then you got a devotional president, they're the one who organizes devotional, making sure people volunteer for the prayers, everything's organized. You're not doing that. The class president, they're orchestrating, making sure all that's happening. Now, another format would be your class president and then a first counselor, second counselor, which have the first counselor responsibly over devotional, second count responsibly over doctoral mastery, and a secretary. Maybe if you don't have that many, then you're going to have first counselor as devotional, which includes doctoral mastery, second counselor has secretary responsibility as well as other things. So um, to, to have a class presidency, you need the bishop to clear the name. Some of you have multiple bishops that are serving in your area. You might want to look at these individuals. If this person is a quorum president or class president, young women, you probably want to get somebody different. You don't want the same person being the young women's older class president and seminary class president. You don't want them to be the a teacher's quorum president and a class president. You, this is where you can draw out and give other people experiences and chances to serve. Um, the bishop, when you're getting with them, they may not be aware of this. Just remind them this is this awardness requirement is not required, and they're not even being set apart unless the bishop wants to. Um, this is just an assignment being made. You're extending the assignment. Uh, you're just asking the bishop, is he comfortable with that? A student can be working through the repentance process. And it would be a good place for them to serve in one of these capacities because it gets them engaged and gets them working. So this is something you can work on. We can do some more training with that. Get with your state supervisor if you'd like some more help with this. But um, I would introduce my class presidency here. And from here out, they take care of organizing devotionals. Class president welcomes the class every day. If the class president's not there, the, the counselors do. I just stay in the back. I talk to students. I interact with students. Um, I don't even worry about devotionals. They're doing all that.